Hello, family. It's good to be with you again. I had another dream last night. I don't have many dreams, so don't think that I have these on a regular basis because I just put out a previous video from a dream. But last night I had a dream, and in this dream, I was taken to heaven. And I was wanting to see Jesus. And I was asking, where's Jesus? I want to see Jesus. And so as I was praying about that, uh, I suddenly looked and I saw, like the book of Revelation says, I saw a lamb that was slain, a little white lamb. His throat was slit and blood was coming. And then I heard the Lord uh, talk to me right after I came out of the dream. And he said, this is what I want you to tell my people. I was wondering why I wanted really to see Jesus in the shape of a man, you know, as he walked the earth. And I wasn't allowed to see him like that. I was only allowed, allowed to see him as he was slain. So I was praying, you know, Lord, what are you saying? He said, tell my people great suffering and persecution is coming. As it came on the lamb, in order for the inheritance to come upon the church that he promised us. When Jesus said, if I don't go, the Holy Ghost cannot come. So I'm going to read a few scriptures, and then I'm going to explain a little more about this. Uh, in Revelations chapter 14, and I do hope you're reading the book of Revelations, because that is where we are living now. In the scripture previous to what I'm going to read, they were talking about if anyone takes the mark of the beast or worships the beast, they'll receive the wine of God's wrath. The next verse down, chapter 14, Revelations 14, 12 says, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and of the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice in verse 12, uh, sorry, 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. So first it's talking about what's going to happen to those who take the mark, what their suffering is going to be. Then he turns his attention to the church, and he says, when this mark is presented, he goes right into, now here is those that keep the commandments of God and keep the faith of Jesus. Many are going to die at, at this point, is what he's trying to tell us. And he's saying, blessed are the dead that die in the Lord from this point on. And the Spirit will have them then rest once they give their lives so this is a great persecution that is coming. And the Lord told me, he said, this persecution will be much worse than the first church. And we'll read that scripture in a moment. Moving on, uh, I should say backwards to Revelation chapter 13, verse 7. And it was given us to, uh, unto him to make war. This is talking about Antichrist. It was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and power was given him over every tribe this is the antichrist now notice the power was given to him who gave the antichrist the power to overcome the saints our father gave him the, the authority to be able to do this because remember we're in the hands of god so no authority can be taken over us unless god gives it so it says to us very clearly in Revelation 13, 7, that it was given to him. It was given to the Antichrist to make war with the saints and overcome them. And power was given unto the Antichrist over every tribe, tongue, nation. Then moving back again through Scripture, Revelation 12, chapter 12, verse 12, the B part of the verse says, For the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So what is he going to do with this wrath? 
that he's going to have. He's going to come against those who carry the name of Jesus. Matthew 24, 21 says, For then there will be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. What time is he talking about again? The end time saints. That will be given to the Antichrist to have power over the church. And it will be great tribulation that has never happened before in the history of time. So that's the main message. And we're going to move along from that subject into the fact that persecution is coming on the church, which I don't hear many people talking about. We do know there's a rapture. We do know the Lord's coming. We do know there's people that God is going to hide in this time. But the great power and authority that God is releasing to the church and the powers of the age to come that is coming to the church is only going to be released to those who have been proven and tried and are efficient in hearing God. When I saw that slain lamb, I really believe the Lord was saying, Lest you grow weary and faint in your minds, look upon the lamb that was slain. That was the cost of our inheritance, was that slain lamb. And that gives us the strength and the energy to say, I'm going to go all the way. He went all the way. We want to go all the way with him. Looking at the slain lamb that paid the price for my sin makes me want to lay down my life also. And that is, that is our call is to lay it down. He is on his way back for a bride made ready. God bless.